polar tundra, endless expanses of ice, snowy steppe, and permafrost. This is a region with a very harsh climate and extremely sparse vegetation. But our today's hero doesn't need anything else. You are on the Animal Instinct channel, and today we will look at the polar owl in action. Don't forget to rate this video and subscribe to the channel. And we are already starting. Meet the milky white beauty of the polar owl, one of the most unusual representatives of the family of real owls. After all, living in one of the harshest regions forced the bird to make a number of adaptations with its body, which was done. But first things first, the polar owl is the largest of all owls and can reach a body length of up to 70 simapers. At the same time, the wingspan of such a bird reaches 70 inches and weighs up to six pounds. True. This is largely due to the special plumage of the owl. It is very dense, and the owl is covered in feathers from beak to talons. Moreover, on its legs the plumage is more like wool, and even similar hairs are formed. But this outfit helps the bird to calmly endure strong winds and frosts up to 50 degrees. After all, the owl lives in the tundra zones of Eurasia, North America, Greenland, and even on the islands of the Arctic Ocean open terrain, minimal shelter, and a lot of snow leave their mark on the animals living there. Therefore, the polar owl is the only one of all owls that has such light plumage. The protective coloration gives it perfect camouflage and makes the owl almost invisible, especially when it flies close to the surface. By the way, you can distinguish between males and females by the color of their plumage, because females have more brown spots, while adult males are almost completely white. Already by the appearance of the owl, it becomes clear that this is a typical predator because the strongly curved beak and huge powerful claws cannot speak of anything else. And the polar owl knows his business very well. For example, she has excellent eyesight, which is facilitated by her large, bright yellow eyes. By the way, whiskers lack eyeballs, and their organs of vision should be called ocular tubes, so the look of the mustache is quite expressive. True, it looks like they are either annoyed or shocked. Because of this shape, the eyes practically do not move. But the birds found a way out. This is a super mobile neck. Look, an owl can turn its head 140 degrees in each direction. Thus, without changing her position, she surveys the perimeter around her at 280 degrees without pinching blood vessels. So an owl can easily spot even the smallest prey in the snow. Well then, one of the most important abilities of a predator comes into play. Listen, for example, to how a dove flies. This is the falcon, and this is the owl. And although this is a non-polar barn owl, the principle is the same. Even sensitive microphones do not pick up anything. It's all about special feathers. On the front of the wings, they are very rigid and do not create air turbulence, but on the back they, on the contrary, are extremely soft and flexible, which allows them to dampen air vibrations. Well, the soft poo on the body and legs acts as a sound absorber without reflecting it from itself. So the owl flies almost silently, and the unsuspecting mouse easily becomes the prey of this hunter. And the owl's hearing is also excellent. Not only is it almost four times sharper than that of a cat, but during the hunt, the owl also makes circular movements with its head. In this way, it compares the intensity of the sound from the target and determines its location very accurately. Even under the snow, it is extremely difficult to hide from this white hunter. The Voli thinks she is safe, but she is not. The owl jumps from the tree and rushes to intercept. She flies as low as possible above the ground and at the right moment releases her sharp claws. The goal is captured, although this does not always happen. Her efficiency is 45%, which however is still very good. And such a hunt always looks very beautiful because the polar owl is a specialist in hunting such small rodents. And in a year, each such hunter eats approximately 1,600 lemmings and mice, which helps control their numbers. And by the way, unlike other species, 
This owl tries to hunt only during the day, well, of course, with the exception of the polar night. But when it comes to procreation, like many birds, owls take this seriously. Often the male, who is usually noticeably smaller, takes care of the female, bringing her various treats, and an ordinary hole in the ground, which is lined with down, is used as a place for the nest. The number of eggs in a clutch will depend on the amount of food and can be either five taka six or more than 10. Although in hungry years, polar owls may not breed at all. The female lays one egg every two days, so the chicks are all of different ages, and the younger ones have much less chance of survival. This did chick became food for its brothers in the tundra. Nothing is wasted. All this time, the female usually guards the chicks, and the male searches for food. And he does this very successfully. And the female already divides the prey between the chicks. Moreover, even such a small owlet can eat a whole lemming entirely. True, I think he was surprised himself, although the polar owl can easily hunt down birds. Moreover, these are not always small birds. For example, here a polar owl looks out for potential prey among the ducks, and this predator actually managed to catch a large Canadian goose, so they are not to be trifled with. Moreover, when the chicks are born, the owls become extremely aggressive. They protect their nest from any danger. Look, as soon as the worker entered the aviary, the male immediately took off and went on the attack. Moreover, this attack continued further. It's good that the employee knew where he was going and took care of protection. But this behavior of owls clearly causes admiration. And the female, by the way, does not stand aside either. So in the wild, they are able to fend for themselves and owls will attack anyone who approaches the nest within a radius of kilometers. For example, singers pose a great danger to the Soviets and parents will try with all their might to drive them away from the nest. Look how the owl swoops down on the Arctic fox. And he, of course, hastened to get away. Although Arctic foxes are not always so timid and owls often try to divert their attention to themselves. Usually, the owl sits next to the predator and, as it were, flirts with it, gradually flying further and further. So it's a pretty smart bird. Therefore, many other birds try to nest next to the snowy owl because this way they are protected. But with the crows, apparently, they have quite a warm relationship. Moreover, this is not an isolated case. Although, why be surprised? Because even with a dog, a polar owl can have such tenderness. And in general, owls can be quite talkative. For example, they can scream, hiss, and even chirp, as if they were a songbird. But she is fearless with her enemies. For example, Skuas can easily destroy a nest and eat the chicks, so the owl desperately defends itself. She spreads her wings, preparing to attack and meets the enemy with her claws. The Skua will not pass such a defender, but the polar wolf is a more dangerous threat. But the owl, without hesitation, rushes water and attacks the white enemy. She attacks again and again until the wolf leaves the nest. As for the population, unfortunately, polar owls are disappearing throughout their habitat. This is due to gradual climate change, human settlement of hard to reach territories, and even the amount of pasture. And the abundance of enemies cannot but affect life expectancy, because in the wild, it is only nine years. At the same time, in captivity, polar owls live on average three times longer. Let's hope that our descendants will be able to see this beautiful northern bird, not only in pictures. This polar beauty turned out to be so fearless. And I hope it was interesting and you learned something new for yourself. Then don't be lazy. Rate the video. Write in the comments who to talk about next time. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to turn on notifications. And I say goodbye to you for a moment. See you later.